Hi guys, it's Jamie here and today we are going to be in the money. I'm very lucky to be a member of a Facebook group where someone shared some scans of money from around the world that were free for us to use. I have decided to create a money notebook, a money pocket, a money background, a money journaling tag because my kids have said they do not want any homemade gifts for Christmas. They'd rather have money. I think I have the solution. I've used a junk envelope to create two pockets. I will show you what we're making. We have this pocket here, which as you can see, is made from a junk envelope and has been covered in the money. We have this little notebook here that even when you open the notebook, it has money inside, which actually fits inside. And we have a journaling tag that is also money. And when it goes into or gets glued onto the sample journal that I'm creating here with different techniques and different ideas, it has a money background. Hang around and see how all of this is made. Stage one, having printed two copies of some of your notes, preferably the bigger ones, which I didn't do, but that's just a hint, go for the bigger ones. Just glue them together. We are just gonna sandwich them together. And as usual, let them dry off. So I will be back when they, I have sandwiched four together and we will move on to stage two. While we're waiting for these to dry, I thought we'd continue with the junk journal envelope side of the project. For my journal, this sample, I am going to need to fold this envelope up to make this size to fit comfortably on that page. You may have a bigger journal and need to do less folding. The main thing would be to have a back piece that will attach to the page and then a piece that you could potentially make into a pocket. You could even cut the top off here, glue down this side and make another pocket, which we will do so you will see that happen. So you will end up having two pockets on this page from one junk envelope. The first thing is that because it's going to be folded and this is see-through, you can either cover over it completely with a piece of scrap or you can place something inside of the envelope so it shows through the little window, which is what I think we will do for this project. Before I seal it up then, I want to get something inside here. I want just a note that's going to fit in there. I'll pop a bit of glue on it so that it sits nicely inside and doesn't move around. If you want to be able to cut a piece and use the top pocket, then you are going to want to just seal along this edge and then cut this edge open. So we'll do that stage now. And seal as close to that edge as you can get because you want to create as big a pocket as you can. Now I've noticed this is lifting slightly, so I'm just going to stick that down as well while I'm here. I'm just going to get my scissors and take a very thin slither off the top of this. I'm not even going to open that pocket properly until this glue has dried, but as you can see, you now have a pocket here. I think we could decorate this and then let it completely dry. Guess what I'm decorating it with? I'm going to deliberately go over the edges when everything's dry, cut everything away. Just smooth that out. Oh, I've got a lump there. It's bound to happen because I haven't cleaned this. And align that up to the top edge of there and just push that down a couple of times trying to get the air bubbles out a little bit. When we fold that up, I think you could even put another note in there, maybe a different one. Everything when I glue gets glued to everything. It's like my standard practice. 
I'm not the most careful gluer. Normally, because when it's just me and I'm not filming, I'm not conscious of the time as much and I take a bit more time over things. If I'm filming, I'm conscious of the amount of editing I have to do and the amount of time everything's taking. And I'm, I'm basically trying to cut my editing down by doing things quickly. But obviously I then make a big mess as I am now, as you can see, yuck. And it takes longer to dry. So I don't think I do actually save myself any time. Just double checking how it's going to sit. So I'm going to want to put a note on this bit, maybe a different note again. I'm not worried whether it's going to be upside down, the right way up. You can double check these things if you are concerned about that. When I refold this, I will bone folder it to get those lines equal and sharp because every time I add something, I'm losing that fold. We're getting there with the covering. So it's now really just these two bits. What you could do is take a note and cut it in half and then just glue up to wherever you want to glue up to on this window. I would recommend you go over the window a little bit on both sides. Definitely soaking with glue this. I am going to carve it so that we get a bit that's not so sticky for the very last little bit of gluing, which is only this little bit here. It's not very straight cut. Cut that again. Still not hugely straight. Where the note was scanned and a corner had been turned, there is a bit of white. If you want to, just ink over it. You can also, I think these are pretty enough as they are, ink the edges if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to slip this one in between everything else. I'm not worried about where it ends because that's all being folded up. This now also needs to dry. Everything's drying really nicely. I had a look at the pocket size and decided that there really should be a background. So I took the largest print out of a note and I am just going to put that, glue it down as a background so that can dry off as well. Right, that is now in place. It is going to go a bit wrinkly, I think, but it's partly because these pockets are so full on this side. And then, yeah, just leave that bit to dry as well now. This is now dry enough to have a little play with. It still needs a bit more gluing. I thought I'd got to the end of the gluing, but actually I haven't. To make the pocket, this needs to be glued down. Obviously you want to check the sides are still glued and loosen, if any glue has got anywhere, loosen this pocket up just by running a finger or a ruler or something like that just to make sure that nothing is sticking too much so you still have a decent pocket there. All I'm going to glue then is the sides of this down. Just a very thin bead. I think you could actually glue this bit over to help give even more stability but the main thing for me will be to glue a very thin bead along just these two edges to create that pocket push it into place there will be some glue coming out of the side and you do want a cloth just to clean that glue up. Just run down the edges there. Pinch it. You can even put paper clips on this to make sure it holds tight. If you want to, I can get a couple of those. They're within arm's reach. And that will help you just hold down. Oh, if these are open. Yep. Oh, these are the big ones. <laughs> these are the cute ones. That'll just help hold, hold that down rather than you have to put a weight on it. What's also happened in the meanwhile is these have dried. Pretty much. So we're going to make a little notebook. The way we're going to do it is actually in thirds, but so this is smaller. 
So we want to make this like the little catch. I, it doesn't need to be that big. So I think if I fold this bit first, well, it's not very evenly folded, but it's fine. More glue. Let me get that out of the way because then it'll stop me getting sticky things. And then bring this up to that line and fold it again. And then you can use, let me just clean this off again, one of these just to give it a really sharp edge. And then we have a little notebook shape. And we can take some of these notes, these spare ones, and make the papers for the notebook. You don't want too many pages, well, you can have as many pages as you want in this little notebook, but remember it's going into a pocket that's going into a journal, so I'm probably folding slightly too many already. You could probably get away with like four or five of these. I might stick one more in. And then what I will do is use another one of those paper clips, hold it together, measure it up and cut through it. So let's get another paper clip. <coughs> Oh, different one this time, same colour, different style. So I think we are looking to be, let's have a look. If you were sewing this in to here, you could also staple it in, you do not have to sew it. I think around there is definitely okay. If I put this on a line, then I know when I draw a line here, it's going to be roughly correct. <laughs> roughly. Notice the use of the word roughly. And then hopefully with a bit of patience and a good craft knife, we can get through all of this in one, well not one go, but without having to individually cut these. Oh, that slipped. You can start to, as they cut through, flick them away. There. Okay, done. And then you can either staple or sew this into your little holder, your cover. Open it all out. Right, that is ready for sewing. I do have a little awl here. I'm just going to do one central hole through this lot ish hole central ish there's going to be no real mm -hmm. one around here like i say this is not for total accuracy and then one around this side normally i'm one for measuring and marking and trying to get it perfect I said, this is trying to get it perfect, trying being the operative word. Then I have some wax thread. You can use almost any thread on this. You don't need the wax thread. It's three times the length of the journal. This is a, a pamphlet stitch. Is it a three pamphlet stitch? Something like that. Then I want a needle. The advantage of the wax thread is, and the big needles is, really they are so easy to use so I'm going to go down through here I'm going to hold this I'm going to come up through the top hole if I can find it catching all those pages I'm going to go down to the bottom hole and then back through that middle one. And then you can pull it a little bit tighter and I will just go under that once and then tie it off. And then going the other way, 
I think that was the other way. Was that the other way? Is that all going the same way? Right. It's a little bit loose, but it's fine. Then we're just going to trim that up. We can take these off now because now we have made a little notebook. You can obviously put a closure on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce the paper using some washi tape and then punch a hole through the paper and the washi tape. If you want to make sure the washi tape stays on forever, then you might want to add extra glue to the washi tape because the glue on a washi tape is not a permanent type glue. It's one that you can lift the washi tape up and move it and place it where you want it as I am demonstrating now. And then we just want to punch maybe a little hole in this. I don't really have a little hole punch. All I've got is the big boy. So you now have a little hole in your book club. Now this is just a piece of embroidery thread. You could use like cook string. What's that called? Butcher's string. You could use a piece of lace if you punch a slightly bigger hole. I think what I want to do is pull that through there and then tie a knot. Okay, that's a bit fiddly. Maybe you would want to do a little, a bigger hole and use lace so it's not quite so fiddly to open and close that little booklet or notebook. I have to admit that is a little fiddly. Okay, how's this drying? It's drying okay. I'm tempted to try and see if I can get through. That's quite thick. See if I can get through this to round these so it's got some rounded corners at the top. I don't know, it's quite thick. Oh, that worked. I think they look a bit better for being rounded. We have this little booklet. I'm hoping it'll fit in here. Yes, it does. Awesome. And then we have an another pocket here that you can put things in. So you've got a little notebook there and now you've got a pocket here. But I do still have some money and something I picked up the other day, which was in a video somewhere, was 13 luggage labels, which are quite large, admittedly, for 69p. And what I'm thinking is, to save myself a bit of time and effort, in you can just recycle old cereal packets, old biscuit packets, Amazon packaging, anything you want, old cardstock, and make a tag that way you do not need to go out and buy tags it was just they were so cheap i just thought well it saves a bit of time we stick this right to the top of there right along or in the middle as much in the middle as we can get it and then trim it down so it's a, a whole tag of money that's done i will wait for the rest to dry the rest to be trimmed. This is now dry enough just to trim it up. On these edges I'm just going to trim with the scissors because I want to trim around this knot here. That's not probably as neat as some of you would like it or would do it yourselves. I'm at such a beginner <laughs> and then along these edges I will actually use a ruler and the craft knife to cut along these obviously the pink is showing through if you put this on a white label or a cream label or a white piece of packaging or a cream piece of packaging then you wouldn't have such a show through I'm not too worried about that but if that bothers you you can also use white gesso paint over any old packaging you've got first and then sorry this is taking a while to cut through and then let that dry and then glue a topper onto it so you can whiten up anything I will demonstrate that in another video for you 
when we use some old packaging to make journaling tags rather than something already made for us. So that is a journaling card which would then also go into this junk envelope up here. Now actually this is probably wide enough to take more than one journaling card. That's quite long. I've got a feeling it's going to sit above our page. I'm okay with that. If you weren't okay with that, you could just cut it down. Let me just check I've got it all the way down. Yes, I have. And then I was thinking for this one, you could glue it in or you could just use some paper clips and clip it in. Entirely up to you. I will probably take everything out of this and glue it in, in a minute, um, and put a heavy weight on it to make sure it all sticks down beautifully, and then put these things back into it. That is the project complete. Thank you for watching this video. Everything that you do, in terms of likes, comments, and subscriptions, helps me with the YouTube algorithm to get further reach. We'll see you next time.